Hi guys, so I'm subbing for a fifth grade class today. I know it's been quite a while, but here I am and being a tutor has been going really, really well and yeah, um, I just finished lunch, so I'll talk to you guys more at prep time. All right, so I just dropped the kids off at music and they have that right after recess and lunch. So that's where they're at right now. And this is my prep time. Um, typically as a sub, I don't normally have anything to do during this time. So I just wanted to talk about kind of what this day looked like. So supposedly this class has 30 students in it, which is crazy. <laughs> and you honestly wouldn't have known. And this is the type of class that really renews my hope and interest in teaching however I know that classes like this take a lot of work um, I know there are some students in here who need extra help and that not every class is like this obviously so I just wanted to talk about some of the things she left for me so this was her daily schedule and she actually printed out all of her slides. So we started with the warm-ups and just morning stuff. And basically they were just supposed to do five things in the morning. So they do their lunch choice. They choose flexible seating throughout the room, read the morning message. And that typically I think has something to do with like their daily warm-up. And then they do their planners and then obviously last is their warm-up and um, today it was like creating a conference folder but I'm sure t other times it's a worksheet that has something to do with what they're learning and things like that. Afterwards when the day officially starts they do a short and sweet like five minute morning meeting where they recite their team norms or like things that they want to be successful so it says work hard be sorry work hard be respectful and understanding never give up achieve your goals and come ready to learn and have fun so they're if I could talk um, those are three things that they recite seems like every single morning and then they do a short and sweet greeting today they did a ball toss and just saying good morning to each other and then they read the morning message which they would have already read by that point. I'm not sure what they typically have after that morning meeting time, but today we did a practice test for the MCAs coming up. You know, they're so important. And that's the Minnesota Comprehension Assessment. And they're doing different practice things to get them ready. Then they do something called squirt, which I don't really know. I believe it's an acronym. I'm not sure exactly what it means, but basically it's an independent reading time and they're supposed to be building stamina and just being quiet the entire time and choosing flex spots that um, are ideal and that are going to help them be successful and also just moving with a purpose so getting right to your spot and starting to read right away and then they have something here called MTSS which is what I'm actually a tutor for obviously my group didn't happen today since I'm here subbing but basically they just worked on, um, let me get it. So they worked on this packet and they basically had to create a, an opinion or starting an opinion piece. Here's a little outline of it. And just talking about why they believe that either people should have drones or should not. Here is the little um, comprehension thing that I was talking about for practice with MCAs. And then, it's hard because there's always people walking by in the hallway, it's crazy. And then, yeah, they went to recess and lunch. And now music. So afterwards, they're going to practice for their Colonial Project presentations. Then we're doing math, so they're just correcting their homework, um, doing some workbook pages, and this little bingo. Um, you guys know what bingo looks like, so it looks like it's a decimal bingo. And then they have an independent worksheet and homework. 
And then they're doing this thing called BizTown that I think is really, really cool. <laughs> so this is called Junior Achievement. And they're starting it today. And basically, um, I don't know how much I could actually show, but basically they're doing a citizen pledge and it just helps them understand um, business finances and all sorts of things like that and just being part of a community so that's really cool I'm going to be leaving halfway between that um, because my normal time is 3 15 and they don't get out until 3 50 so yeah that's my day it's been going pretty good so let's hope it stays that way Ooh. so I haven't really done the whole filming a video and trying to be like discreet and stuff in quite a while so I feel so like awkward doing it plus i just got this new microphone um i hope it helps with the sound fingers crossed that it improves it and obviously isn't making it worse but one of the big things that i wanted to talk about is number one like why i haven't been here um, on the channel as much lately and just kind of stuff about that and kind of what to expect. Um, I feel like it's been a pretty tough year career-wise because of the whole needing this kindergarten license and having to go back to school. I feel like it's just opened my eyes to the possibility of maybe doing something else. And I feel really conflicted today because this has been really nice. However, being a sub is not, um, doesn't exactly show all the ins and outs of what it takes to be a teacher and doing, you know, creating all these plans and making sure kids are successful while also juggling, um, you know, like if you're not tenured getting observations and writing really great lessons and you know she didn't just have these kids who were awesome like I'm sure some of them just came hey guys while I'm editing this I just noticed that it gets kind of long and ranty but basically I was just saying that being a teacher is a really hard position and because I have to go back to school for this position I'm wondering if maybe I just want to try something new out and just talking about how it's been a really big struggle because I don't want to seem like I'm just giving up or that I am being an entitled millennial who just assumes I should have gotten a job right out of college like that's not how I feel I just it's been very disheartening over this last two years trying to get a job when all my other friends are getting jobs and it's just been really really hard and I'm wondering if there is something else out there that might interest me a little bit more than what teaching has to offer, but it's really hard because I do love teaching. I am in a position now that I'm at two years of experience and this could be my time to shine. So anywho, I just wanted to tell you guys that and that doesn't mean anything for sure is going to happen. I'm still going to apply to teaching jobs this summer and see what happens but it's been a really really hard conflict that I've had for pretty much the whole school year and that's probably the toughest thing to deal with is just the longevity of these conflicted feelings but yeah that's been really 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 tough for me lately so yeah <laughs> um yeah so I'll talk to you guys later bye All right, guys, I just made it home. I did end up leaving a little bit early and a different teacher filled in for me. It honestly was a really, really nice day and I really can't complain at all, to be honest. There were a couple times that I had to redirect behaviors and all that, but overall, it was a really nice day. And like I was saying earlier, you know, it's one of those classrooms that kind of renews my hope, but like I said also, it's not like every class is going to be that way. So 
I'm going to end here and just upload this today so you guys have a nice little update, especially since I just uploaded <laughs> uploaded my recent venue search video for my wedding. I'm getting so, so excited. Um, we're still over a year away, but it is so exciting to think about all the possibilities, so I can't wait. Um, otherwise, yeah, I will go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. There wasn't much, but just the little bit of feels of how not getting a job can really affect your outlook and all that on the career that you're going for. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. Bye guys! Hi guys, so I basically just woke up and, <clears throat> wow, we have another snow day and it is insane because this is probably our um, fourth or fifth, actually fifth snow day. Well, we had a couple cold weather days, but it is crazy. I just wanted to add it to the end of this video because I was like, ah, this is insane. Like, and it is pretty bad out there right now, but it's just crazy. We've had a couple late start days. And I want to say like back when I was in school, we did not have these luxuries. I will tell you. And, um, I don't know. The teachers sometimes actually have to go in since I'm not in a teacher position or full-time teacher position. Um, I don't have to go in. I'm only supposed to go in on student contact days and obviously there will be no students today. So yeah, I also wanted to show you guys something exciting that I'm not sure that I mentioned and I'll show you guys what the outside looks like because it's crazy. So this is the sweet little puppy. Oh. <laughs> so this is the sweet Australian shepherd that my fiance and I ended up adopting and he is so cute he's about five months old right now and he is the sweetest little boy he has a lot of energy and he's kind of crazy but we love him so much and definitely at our wedding he will be in an important role for us because we just love him and then we also have Hudson You've seen him, and he's my other sweet, sweet boy. But they are just so sweet. Okay, so this is the pool house. And you can see how crazy the snow is. It is literally insane right now. Like, just look at how crazy. And you can see the tire tracks in the road there and just how deep it is. Yeah, this is why we obviously did not have or don't have school today. Ah, it's crazy. I will say that's kind of another reason that I haven't really been making videos is the just numerous amounts of snow days and cold days and all of that stuff. Um, obviously, I could have been making other videos, but yeah, it's just been kind of crazy lately and it's been really, really nice to relax. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop there and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching and see you later. Bye guys!